Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Minkler with Red Bear Solutions and today I'm going to help you take Mail Merge and Outlook from here to here. If you've ever used Mail Merge and Outlook, you'll find that it's extremely clunky and limiting. You're unable to send emails to multiple participants. You can't CC, BCC, or include attachments. You're also unable to send from shared inboxes. And to make everything worse, you have to use Word. Today, we're getting rid of all those problems in just a few short minutes with a little bit of code. Let's dive in. So here I have my Excel that I want to send as a mail merge. You can imagine I'm sending a monthly report to my employees. I have their emails in column A, their managers CC'd in column B. I have their attachment path for their monthly report. And then I have some details that I would like to show up in the email itself. Now, the very first step we need to do to install the VBA code is to make sure we have the developer tab showing. It's not by default showing in Excel, so if you don't have it showing, here's how you can get that to show. You go to File in the top left corner, click Options at the bottom, and then go to Customize Ribbon and make sure that Developer is checked. And then click OK to save. Once you have the Developer tab, you need to click on the Visual Basic section in the left-hand side. And we're looking for a section that's called VBA Project Personal. This is a, a hidden workbook that if we install the code on that hidden workbook, we'll be able to access the code from any Excel moving forward. And that's really what we want so we can send mail merges uh, for the rest of time. Now. Like I said, it's typically hidden, so I'm going to show you how to make that show up. You can exit out of VBA, and to make that hidden workbook show up, we're going to click Record Macro. And you can just name it Test. And the key is that you want to store macro in the Personal Macro Workbook. And then click OK. It's now recording our macro. It does not matter what we do. You can type a random thing into a cell and then click Stop Recording in the top left-hand corner. Now, if we go back to Visual Basic, the personal uh, workbook will show up on the left-hand side, and that's perfect. The module we just created from our little uh, macro is called Module 1. You can right-click and remove module one, we don't need it, and we don't want to save it. And then if you right click the VBA project personal, you can select insert and then module. Now in this blank window is where we want to paste our code. The link to the code is in the description of the video below. I'm going to go grab it real quick. And you're going to paste the whole thing in here and then make sure you click save in the top left hand corner and exit. So we have our code ready to go. And now I just want to walk you through how everything needs to be formatted for the code to work. So uh, also below I have a link to an Excel template. So if you go uh, to that template, it's in Google Sheets and you're going to you're going to go to file, download download as Excel, and you will be given this blank template. It's really important that you keep the names of the tabs the same. You can have additional tabs um, if you'd like in your Excel, it doesn't matter, but the tab with the data needs to be called Mail Merge Data, and then there needs to be a Variables tab. So in the Mail Merge Data, you can have whatever columns you'd like, but um, the to uh, section needs to be titled email, CC needs to be titled CC, same with BCC, and then if you're including individual attachments for each recipient, that needs to be called attachment. It doesn't matter where those are in the file, they could be columns M, N, O, whatever, they just have to be called those exact things. And then your other column headers can be whatever you'd like. Then the variable section is where you're going to put the subject of your draft email, which I'll talk about in a second. And then if you want to send your mail merge from a different email 
Um, then your personal one or like your main email, if you want to send it from a shared inbox, you would put that email in cell C3. If not, you would just put your normal email address. And then there's also a function where you can send a test email to yourself to make sure everything looks good. Highly recommend doing that. And you can put where you want that test email to go. Typically, people put their own personal email. There's also some other notes I've made down here. Uh, if you want to have multiple people in a two or a CC field, you just need to separate them by semicolons. And now I can talk about the email. So if you go to your Outlook, the first most important thing is that you are in old Outlook. So if you have new Outlook on, turn it off and you want to create a draft. Um, you can do that by clicking new email if you don't have one already set up. And then in your draft, if you want to use the data from the different columns in our Excel, you just need to put the column headers surrounded by curly brackets. So here you can see I have their first name, I have sales, customer, satisfaction. Also, the formatting of your email will send properly. So you can add tables, bold, highlight, whatever you do, it should send in your mail merge. And I want every single recipient to receive this frequently asked questions document. So I want every recipient, every recipient to get this frequently asked questions document plus their individualized report. And so since everyone's getting it, I can just include it on the draft. And then my subject line also has a variable. I want their name to be in the subject line. And I'm going to copy that and make sure I enter it into my Excel. So if I go back to my Excel, um, I my sample is already in the format, just like the template um, has me put it in. And if I go to variables, I'm going to make sure that my subject matches perfectly my draft. I want the send from email, just my personal email, though it could be a shared mailbox. And I want to receive the test email. And so now we're ready to go. We have everything set up. And to run the mail merge, you just go to macros. And you see we have two uh, functions here. So first, I want to send my test email to make sure everything looks good. I select it and click run. The window will pop up just for a second and go away. And then if I go into Outlook and back to my inbox, in just a few seconds, I'll have my test email. Here it is. Uh, I have the monthly frequently asked questions report, and then I have my personalized report. It's important to note that for test emails, the CC and the BCC are not included. It just goes to that um, email that you put in. And then uh, it has my total sales, customers acquired, and customer satisfaction. And I'd like to point out that the formatting from the Excel carries on into the email. So I had the dollar sign in Excel as well as the percentage. So everything looks good. I'm ready to send my mail merge. I now go back to macros in the top left corner, select send mail merge and run. And now here are my two emails that sent, Sarah's and then Caitlin's. They have their different data, their um, CCs are there. Everything looks great. So that is how you can send easy mail merges without needing Word straight from your Outlook app um, with some advanced features. Feel free to comment. Um, or reach out to sminkler at redbearsolutions.com if you have any questions. Thanks.